I wanted to really be a teacher. And I decided I, you know, and then I didn't want to. And then, then I laid out for a while because I just really just wanted to work. I wanted experience and I just wanted to work and I wanted money. Okay. And then Purdue asked me to lay out for a little while. And so after upon co contemplating that, I thought it's important that I get my degree. I don't know what I want to do, but I had to do this. So what happened was I was sitting there with my uncle one holiday and he said, why do you want to be a teacher? And I came, you know, I, all these good things that I felt were great ideas and da, 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 da. And he said, why don't you get out of Lafayette, Indiana and have an experience someplace else? So I contacted, he, you know, I contacted C-SPAN, he recommended that. So I contacted C-SPAN and the um, director of field operations at the time. And I said, please, will you just give me a chance to come out one su this summer and, and work? And I fell in love, okay? I necessarily like Washington, D.C. with all of the, um, all of the traffic and all of that. And I, coming from Lafayette, Indiana, it certainly was an eye-opener. So I went in and um, I worked in field production. Well, what ended up happening is I decided I want to talk about this. Obviously, I'm passionate about it. I like it. Just like if I was asking you questions about what you like to do, you're going to tell me about it. So I wanted to talk about C-SPAN too. So I got out of production and went into marketing. And my whole world opened up. Obviously, you need to find something you like to do, and that's why you guys are here. That's a specialty that you enjoy, right? You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to expand on that. And maybe there's somebody sitting here who has absolutely no idea what they want to do. But you're doing something here that is invaluable. You will learn more hands-on techniques, utilize the uh, equipment, um, the processes, all of that that will enhance your skills, things that you like to do. So you figure out what it is that you want to do because eventually then, if you like what you're doing, you're going to do it well and then the money comes. I'm not saying that you might not make a million dollars, but you're doing something that you, that you enjoy doing. Where it's kind of headed right now is they're asking a lot of people to have a skill in which you're, in essence, like with C-SPAN, I'm a one-man band. I mean, you know, uh, individually. So you need to know how to do a lot of different things. Those of you that are taking advantage of not only, let's say, you're mixing your own music, but you're also, maybe you're acting too, um, maybe you're directing, uh, you're editing. Be multifaceted. Do not pigeonhole yourself into one area, you know, um, and, and be able to do a lot of different things and be open to that. You're in an environment which you can utilize all this equipment and do all these things and utilize your facilitators. And you can't beat that. You really can't. You're going to learn more than if you apply your, I don't mean to sound like a teacher, but if you apply yourself, if you ask questions, if you get involved, you're going to go places.